Okay, okay. Oh, and by the way, if you drive a animal-drawn vehicle, we would like to remind you to park in the reserved lot, because people who drive normal cars don't really like animal poop on their tires. Or magic carpets. Or magic carpets. And you guys know that I've been looking for someone to head up the HR department, and Flynn has graciously offered to be in charge. He lost a bet. Either way, I will turn the end of the meeting over to Flynn. Thank you, Cindy, uh, for that gracious introduction. Uh, on top of everything Cindy explained about the new guidelines we have for conduct and behavior around Princess Landia, I would just like to add that, furthermore, no member of Princess Landia may discriminate against or harass any other member of Princess Landia on the basis of nationality, belief in magic, creed, or dress color. So, I just wanted to add that. Query. Recognized. What does creed mean? Really? Oh, come on. All right. Uh, creed means... An accepted system of shared beliefs, religious or otherwise. Oh, thank you, Cindy. Oh, okay, so basically you can't make fun of someone just for what they believe in. Okay, gotcha. Uh, but what if it's something really crazy, like, uh, I don't know, say, your midichlorian count determines whether you can move rocks or not? And what exactly is crazy about that? Everything? Oh, everything? You know, Star Wars is the second highest grossing film franchise of all time. So if I were you guys, I would, uh, you know, get with it. Really? Second highest, you say? What's first? Uh, I don't remember. Anyways, any formal complaints regarding other members of Princess Landia may be lodged anonymously in a clearly marked box. So that's all for today, folks. Query. What? Query. Uh. <sighs> Recognized. We don't have a complaint box here. Walt, put up a complaint box for me, please. You got it, Flynn. Hey, Flynn, I put that complaint box up for you. Oh, great, Walt. Yeah, you know how you said not to put a bell on it? Well, I didn't. No, I put a buzzer. <coughs> That's just fantastic, Walt. Thanks. Yeah, I thought you'd like that. Maybe you remember that this morning we were discussing resident conduct here in Princess Landia, and, uh, well, whenever a resident lodges a complaint against another resident, it's my duty to promptly pursue a satisfactory resolution through official channels. Uh-huh. Who ratted me out? Uh, no one. Uh, no one ratted anyone out. Oh. Then who do you want me to rat on? No one. No one. But there has been an official complaint lodged against you, so legally we have to have this conversation to resolve it. Oh, okay. Well, I understand. Well, thanks for bringing this matter to my attention, and I'll do my best to be more sensitive in the future. Hold on. Let me at least tell you what the complaint was. Please tell me we're not going to have to do some therapeutic role-playing exercise. No, of course not. But, uh, apparently you called someone baby. Who? Well, who isn't relevant, and besides, these cards are anonymous. Charming. Why would you call Prince Charming Baby? Are you sure it didn't say A Baby? I, uh, I can't... I can't tell you that. It was Charming, I knew it. I used him in an ad for my gym, and I basically called him a weakling in it. He got all upset about it, so I know it's charming. I never said it was Prince Charming who wrote the complaint. I never said that. You didn't have to, my friend. The eyes are the windows to the skull. Uh, you mean soul? For those who have one, yes. Alright, well, thanks, Gaston. Thanks for your time. And please do me a favor and don't retaliate. Great. A satisfactory resolution through the proper channels. So, okay, I do have a complaint about you here. It just says that you've been going on and on about your origin story movie. And people are tired of hearing about it, so. You know what, this is actually 
kind of a silly complaint, so I don't think we really need to discuss this a whole lot more. So, I think we're good. Wait, wait, no. If people are unhappy about me constantly talking about it, then I think we should discuss. Okay, I guess we can go that route, too. Let's discuss your complaint. You're talking way too much about your own movie. Okay, okay, I hear you, I hear you. The thing is, it was just so well received by critics and fans alike, and it was a beautiful story, and Emma Stone was wonderful in it, that, personally, I could just talk about it all day. You wrote this complaint about yourself, didn't you? Just so you could talk more about your own movie. <laughs> what? <laughs> no, no. How crazy would that be? I mean, that would be sad. <laughs> no, you can't prove that, can you? All right. Well, I think we're done here. Already? What? We can talk more. Did you hear them making a sequel? Please get out of my office. <clears throat> oh, boy. Hey, Ali. Ali, I need to have a sit down with you, buddy. Could you uh, come come with me for a moment? So there's been a complaint that you get special treatment around here just because you're friends with the coolest guy in Princess Landia. So I guess that's something that you know we need to talk about. What? That's these complaints are getting more ridiculous every day. I mean, I'm not even that good of friends with Han Solo. We just you know we played pool a couple times and had dinner once. I think the person they're referring to uh, is me. They're talking about me when in the complaint. Oh, oh yeah, uh, yeah. Of course they are. Of course they are. Yeah. Uh, still though, th uh, still that's ridiculous though. I don't get special treatment just because I'm friends with you. I, uh, that's ridiculous. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Now, are are you saying that you think Han Solo is the coolest guy in Princess Landia? Is that is that what I'm hearing right now? Is that what you're saying? No. This is unbelievable. You and I have been best friends since day one, and this guy comes out of carbonate, and you think he's the coolest guy here? I, I can't even believe my ears right now. Flynn, 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 buddy, come on. I just, I misunderstood the complaint is all. You know, I thought they were talking about Han Solo, because... I don't know, because he's pretty cool, and, and everyone here, I didn't think they were talking about you, because everyone here knows that your real name is Eugene and stuff, I, I don't know. Hmm. <laughs> you can go now. Flynn, Flynn, don't be like this. You can go now. Thank you. I mean, honestly, Hans, I, I don't even know where to begin here. I really don't. Is any of it positive? It's a complaint box. Yeah, is is anyone complaining that I'm that I'm like too good looking or anything? No. You know, I guess a lot of people are just wondering if you could make wine for everyone at the parties and not just yourself at times. Is that too much to ask? I'm a guest here, Flynn. I'm not some kind of party trick. Yeah, speaking of that, are any of your miracles cart tricks by chance? Because that would be cool couple of them. I just think you need to stop asking people to stop looking for the Holy Grail with you. Like, nobody's interested. Like, not even Jesus. And it was his cup. Oh, I don't know. I think I've gained a little interest here and there. No, you haven't. Maybe a nibble? No. No nibbles. Hmm. I just think people want you to dial it down a little bit. That's all. Oh, dial it down a little bit? Dial it down a little bit? You realize I'm a genie, right, Flynn? Yeah, I know. But could you be like a genie from the, from the remake? Less exciting? Yeah. Boring? Eh. Maybe. I don't know. You guys are just making a lot of princes here feel bad about themselves. Is there any way you could be, like, less cool, maybe? You want us to be less cool just so a bunch of insecure princes feel better about themselves? Yeah. Yeah, that's kind of what I'm saying. Uh, I don't know what you want us to do. You want us to, like, wear capes and stuff? <laughs> you know what? That'd actually be a great start. Uh, I guess, Walter, people are just wondering why you're still here. That's that's the only real complaint. Uh, I was invited here for a vacation, Flynn, and I'm going to stay here and finish my vacation, okay? All right, Walter, calm down. I am calm, Flynn. I'm calmer than you are. If you say so, you're being very un-Flynn right now. 
basically you just scare a lot of people around here is the complaint huh you make that sound like it's a bad thing Flynn well it's not a good thing hmm. well I mean it depends on which side of the bread you like buttered that makes absolutely no sense whatsoever doesn't it no it's the queen stuff you're just constantly reminding people that you're a queen well, I am queen, so. True, true. Uh, I don't think you have to remind people of it all the time. Well, as queen, I can really do whatever I want. I think some of the princesses are starting to feel insecure about it. Well, that's on them, not me. Okay, okay, good talk. Uh, I don't know how to say this exactly. They're all about their villain rehabilitation program, aren't they? Yeah, yeah, that's pretty much what all of these complaints are about. Are they all from Cindy? Pretty much. Figures. Uh, I guess the first complaint here is about the yoga classes. Are they are they absolutely necessary? I'm helping people be the best versions of themselves. Is that a problem, Slynn? No, no, I guess not. I, I see your point there. Uh, okay, well, the second complaint is about uh, the clothes. Like, could you maybe wear any? Does my body make you feel uncomfortable? A um, little bit, yeah, a little bit. It's this cape club that's getting complaints it just people think it's very exclusive is there any way you could just invite everybody into it what yeah it's a club for people with capes it's pretty self-explanatory i don't see what the problem is well maybe you could expand the parameters a little bit you know invite people with vests and hats or something that's ridiculous oh well, hang on hang on you know that would allow us to invite indiana and han solo in and i bet they'd be willing to join huh yeah i don't know about that really Is it the lightsaber? Yeah. Yeah, it really is. It's it's pretty much all about the lightsaber. Uh, you just People just think you might behead them at any moment. <laughs> That's not funny. All right, people, we need to talk. Uh, I, for one, take the complaint box very seriously. And apparently, I'm the only one who does. Huh. A complaint about the complaint box. Delicious. I'm serious here. I'm not amused. I happen to be the one who has to deal with all of these complaints, no matter how stupid they are. Well, Flynn, how stupid can they be? Well, let's have a look here. You stink. You smell. Shrek rules. If you can read this, you are a dork. Coupon for one free date with Hans if you are a princess. We need more complaint cards. Coupon for one free date with Hans if you are a prince. Hey. Ollie is a moron. No, I'm not. Yes, you are. No, I'm not infinity. Yes, you are infinity plus one. Please don't tap on the glass of the fish tank. I'm tired of telling you people. Oh, that's uh, that's actually prob probably from Jack Bauer, I would think, right? Oh. Oh, okay. Well, that one's real then. Okay. Uh, let's see. Next one. Uh, Darth Vader has terrible, terrible gas. Do you think they're talking about his Darth thoughts? Oh, yeah. They're terrible. Have you have you ever been around them? Oh. Oh, yeah. They're, they're awful. And finally, please, please help me. I'm trapped inside of a complaint box. <laughs> All right. Well, I guess some of these are kind of funny. But the point is, people, if we use the complaint box the way we should be, and stop joking around and basically stop being, you know, a bunch of buttheads. I think the complaint box can be a very useful tool. So that's it. That's all I have to say. Oh, Flynn. What? You can't say the word butthead. I can't? No. I'm going to have to have a word with you in my office after this. Oh, my God. Query. Not recognized. Uh, not recognized. 